Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Today is a full body strength workout. We have three blocks of work today. There are four moves. We're gonna do 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition. We are doing three rounds today because we are building muscle so that you become a fat burning machine. Hey, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Three minute warm up. roll the shoulders back. We're gonna be doing a squat with a reach. In the reach, I really want you to lengthen up and over. And then drop as low as you can in your squat, keeping the toes forward, keeping the chest up. We're gonna lateral lunge, pause for a moment. Step in, this leg goes back into a lunge and then open up to a twist. Come up, go out to lateral and to the back. It's gonna really help to get the glutes warm, the quads warmer. Do the other side, give me that lateral lunge and then step back, lunge back. Today is not about speed, all right? Today is all about building that muscle, going for that moderate to heavy weight. Because as we age, nobody's getting younger. We need to keep muscle mass on this body. Come into a plank. Open up the feet, pull the hand up, and then switch, and then go into a down dog. So it's a hand lift. We're staying in plank. All right, give me one push up, maybe open the hands up. And then a knee drop. My knees are wide, which is fine. So it's a push up, both knees tap. You can be on the knees for that push up if you need to, if you're still warming up. Obviously we're still warming up, right? <laughs> Walk back to your feet, roll yourself up, come into sumo. And we're gonna drop and then lift that right knee up, reach over to it. Little twist. And really use your breath. That's gonna help you burn more calories when you go deeper in your breath and deeper in the movement. One more. All right, drop it. Straighten the legs. And then we're rolling it up. Uh, memory, talk to me. I kind of want to understand what you mean when you say her and me. Single leg squat, kickstand the back leg. I have my knee slightly turned out. My other arm is reaching to T. I got a 20 pound weight. We squat and press. Brace the core, especially if you're heavy. Drop in the squat, all the way up. Now, let's talk about knees. If your knees are an issue, don't go so low. But in this form, in this technique, I'm able to drop my butt below the knee. My knee does not go past the, the toe. And then my other leg, I have that little turn out. It's gonna help the knee on the left leg. Inhale, you lower. Exhale, you press it all the way up. Focus in the heel of your right foot. 
switching the legs. How'd it feel for you, Catherine? How about you at home? Yes, I know Catherine's dealing with a little bit of back sensitivity. So you can follow her. All right, brace it. Sing like squat and press. So sit back into the heel. If you want more power, when you come up and have a little more speed. Bicep curls. I'm going to go for 15. What do you got, Catherine? What are you going to go for? Just go for the big ones. They are big. Just go for the tans. Good. Pull them out in front. Have a little contraction here. And then alternate the curl here. So what we're doing is we're keeping that bicep activated at the bottom. Just like a little iso hold. You feel your core, and that's going to engage here. Your stabilizer. If it's lighter, right? It depends on what you have at home. Go a little faster. You can change the feeling of a workout by tempo change, the range, and obviously the amount of weight that you use. Renegade row with a push-up. Catherine's going to be upright using the bench. I'm gonna be down. I'm gonna alternate arms pulling and then throw in a push up. I'm gonna have you just row Catherine, okay? So we're here, row two, and then push up. Catherine's just gonna stay with that row. If you need to, you can be upright and do the same movement and not use a bench or chair. And when we lift the moderate to heavy load, your heart rate will stay elevated. I'm gonna finish my rows. Nice job. Okay, a little breather here. So we have about, I'm gonna say 20 seconds here. So if you need a drink of water, get it. Make adjustments to your weights if you need to. 15 seconds. Single leg squat with that press. Now you know the move. This is when we dial up a little bit. Get the weight ready, set, drop. And it's really good to make a lot of noise. Right, Catherine? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you felt a little awkward the first time. Now you're like, okay, I got this single leg squat thing. Come on, all the way up. Nice job. Whew, nice job. Feeling it. See, see how your heart rate stays up? Set that leg, good posture, drop it, big press up, stopping that weight right by my shoulder, ear, driving it up. You can be less in that back foot when you come up, more heel in the front. We want to be uncomfortable. That is when change happens. Whew. Bicep curls. It's easy to stay in comfort zone, right? We want to shake things up. 
same movement. Have a little, oh, curl it up. Now, your body knows how to cheat and make it easy. It's gonna let the dumbbell rest on your thigh. Do not let it. And a big squeeze at the top here. Fight the pull down, right? Ugh. Renegade rows coming up. I'm keeping my 15s. So if you want to stay up, you can stay up and do the renegade row. But not, it wouldn't be a call to renegade, right? <laughs> Here we go. Five seconds. And then I'm gonna throw in a push up. And Catherine's got a great long spine. Looking out in front. You have a little break here. Again, get a sip of water. Again, adjust the weight. I want you to go for, again, that moderate to heavy. 15 seconds, back into that single leg squat. Woo, you got something heavy? You still staying heavy? All relative. What's heavy to you is good, as long as it's heavy to you. I'm gonna change my tempo just a little bit. Yeah, my back foot kind of moves too. Hey, that's a okay. Fine, in the heel of the front, no toes. Ooh, come on, push through this. I'm gonna get one more. Oh, nice job. Yes, this is it. On those single leg squats. All right, this is a compound movement. Drop, power it up. I'm still with a 20. your heel. Don't let your chest drop forward. Think butt to heel. Woo. Curls. That was like a sprint, right? Yeah, and I don't run. So I'm thinking that it's like a sprint, right? Go for those curls. Don't let it rest on your thigh. It's just 40 seconds. You can do anything for 40 seconds, right? Woo. Tighter in the waist. And more squeeze at the top. You can always hammer curl. Then you have a break at the bottom. I don't want that. I want to keep it tight. Renegade row. Or stay up with Catherine. Are you staying up again? She's not sure. You can, and same thing with you. All right, here we go. If you're coming down, we're in plank. Big rows. I'm doing that push up. I'm 
No matter where you are with your row, you want a long, strong back. So you have to pull the abs up and in. And look out in front. Five seconds. Ooh. That block is over. Nice job. Here's where you get an opportunity. Just let it recover here. We're gonna get it go to the second block. You good? You good? All right. Pick a leg, right? For us, it's actually our left leg that we're gonna have on the ground and the right leg behind us. One heavy dumbbell, I'm gonna use 15 pounds. Remember, we're gonna stop at the bottom, give it a curl, and then come on up. If something starts to like fail, take a break, or go lighter, or go no weight. You heard what I said, right? <laughs> okay, or go no weight. So set your... So make sure your knee does not get go over the toe. Sometimes I set myself, this is how I set myself up. I'm up, I'm gonna drop down, curl, and then come up. Now my other hand is behind my head. That is an option, that's definitely harder. You could have it out for balance. If you need a chair next to you for some balance, you could use a chair. Come on, sink low, butt to knee height. And we're doing a hammer curl at that bottom stuff stage. And at the bottom, just shift back a little bit. All right, so you use your glute more. All right, switch legs. We're not gonna turn our benches or anything. We're just gonna switch our legs. Ooh, yeah, you dizzy? Feel okay? Get in position. Start from the top, drop down, curl, press up. So it's gonna feel a little bit different. And then you'll notice that I have a higher bench than Catherine. It's really what you have sometimes. I gave her the lower one so if she fell off, she would be less destructive, right? Woo! <laughs> you fall with grace. On bottom, pause, shift back a little bit, come up. Oh, this is gonna be so hard when we get to that third set. Love it. <laughs> Woo, hey, we're coming on to side plank, forearm. Bottom knee is down, top leg is long. Get yourself in alignment here. All you gotta do is lift and lower that top leg. Get a good range of motion. If you need to, drop your hip all the way down. But we get two things here. We get lateral abduction and obliques. And shoulder. If your hand is behind your head, push your head into your hand. Open up. You're like, oh, this is gonna be an easy one. Then you're like, oh my gosh. Woo. You don't need an ankle weight for this either. Just use your body weight. Nice job, swing it around. Make sure you have room. Got room? Okay, good position here. A little sun, sun block here. So it's easy to start doing this, right? It's much harder to go right into that side plank. Reach the leg as you lift. Look at all this great core stuff you're getting with this. Yeah. This is 
is a tough block, I'm telling you. Whew, all right. You have a break. Use it. This is great. Recovery is so important. Recovery gives you the opportunity to get stronger. Still more time. You still got 15 seconds, okay? So what do you do in your recovery? Walking is great. Stretching, foam rolling, massage guns. Okay, grab your weight. I'm just gonna try the 20. Four seconds. Three, two, right here. Drop, curl, come up. Oh yeah. Oh, I just felt my core engage more with my heavier weight. Remember, at the bottom, push into the heel. All right, so come down, and I shift back. Chin off the chest. Maybe that hand is behind the head. Oh, yeah. I am loving this. Reframe. If you hate it, you gotta tell yourself you love it. <laughs> right? Woo! Get in that position. Oh, yeah. We're up. Drop. Curl. Shift into the heel. Make sure your feet are separated. If you're on a tight rope, man, you're gonna fall off of it. We always say train tracks. Posture, nice job. Oh, yeah. oh. Side plank. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Three, two, lift it up. All right, I was taking my time. How about you? <laughs> Right, open it up. Give me that length. All I want is to be with somebody. Make sure you're on your side. You're not opening it up, you're not turning down. It's like a wall in front of you and a wall behind you. Man, I'm feeling all these amazing things, right? Other side, like deep inside the hip after those Bulgarian lunges. Whew. I'm just a little angled here so I don't hit my stuff. Lift and lower. Keep the length when you do your lift. using my hand as a sun blocker. Here we go. We got about 30 seconds from right now. I'm gonna do this last set, start with the other leg, just to see how it feels, okay? Yeah. All right, 15 seconds, get ready. So switch the legs up here. Get into your Bulgarian lunge or just your split stance lunge. Be separated. You got this. Get on up. You drop and curl, come up. Chin up. That glute was already working. Your foot is on something. Make sure it's not going to slide away from you. Put it on your mat. Put some weights on it. Shift back. In that bottom of the lunge. 
strong glutes, protects your knees. One more. As people get older, we lose this. What happens? Knees hurt, right? Backs hurt. Switch, get ready. Drop, curl, push away. Especially youth, kids that play a lot of sports. They need to have strong glutes. You know that in our house. Remember, down, shift back a little bit. That can be a game changer. I've been using that word a lot. Ooh, yeah. Things are shaking. Okay, start with the other side. Oh, my bench. We're done with it. Ooh. Going to five. Get in a nice alignment here. Push the hips forward. So it's what you want. When you want something, you don't let anything stand in the way. If you want to change your body, you have to have consistency. You have to get uncomfortable. You have to do things that you may not want to, right? Until you get pleasure, right? And you see the change and you see the results, that can keep you pushing forward. Other side. Whew. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, I don't need any ankle weights for this one. <laughs> then you're probably having bad technique. All right, up and nice movement here. Catherine, my leg is heavy enough. <laughs> I don't need an ankle weight on it. What I want, though, is alignment. Alignment. Push the hips forward. Push the head into the hand. Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Yes, be careful with the shoulders, for sure. Oh, dang, that was a hard block, you guys. You made it through. Here we go, take a moment, get some water, recharge. Take a couple of deep breaths, breathing deeply, calms the body, walk around, we're coming back. Can I get your number, baby? I'll give you mine, if you give me yours, can I call tomorrow? I'm gonna use 10 pound dumbbells. Remember, about a 45 degree angle in that drop, bringing weight up to shoulder height. It can be up a little higher. Drop that chest, alternate the fly. So moderate to heavy. If you only have five pound weights at home, by all means, do both of them at the same time. have an, an element of stability in your core when we alternate the arms. If your back is feeling it, lift yourself up or go to lateral raise. Overhead extension, I'm gonna do 12 pounds in each hand. Weight is up, I bend the elbows, and then straighten it up to the ceiling, or the sky. We're outside today. Bend the elbows, and then bring it up and in. I want a little dramatic pause, then up. And watch your hair. Just get your hair in it. Got a couple pieces in there. Be 
You could use one heavy dumbbell if you need to. Sumo with an upright row. I'm gonna go for 15 here. Have the heels and toes out. We drop, keep the head up. Use a power to do the upright row. Keep the length, drop, power up. So again, pause, then come up. We don't want to use that low back. So press into the heels, squeeze the glutes to come up tall. If it's too much for the arms, do one, and then do the other. A little half star. I'm using fives. Hand, come down to the ground. I'm gonna face the garage. Right hand to left foot. I'm not gonna come up all the way. You can if you want to, so reach. Stay with the right. So you're doing a little press toward the foot, keeping the legs wide. My other arm is bent, the elbows on the floor. Switch. If your back is a little bit tight, bend your knee on the other leg. One more. Okay, you have a moment. Enjoy the ground. Ooh. Take a deep breath. Okay, come on up. Here we go. 15 seconds. Reverse fly. Ooh. I'm gonna go for 12. I think I can go a little heavier. Going to five. Drop that chest. Soften the knees. So I'm gonna look out in front. You don't have to have the back flat. You can go all the way down here. But you gotta watch that low back. You have your feet a little bit open here. That's like your foundation. So maybe you're like me, that second set. Maybe you go a little heavier. I'm gonna finish off the other arm. All right, overhead extension, staying with 12. You can hold at the top, right? Good for your core. Okay, drop and press it all the way up. You want to make sure you're using each arm equally. Don't let the dumbbells touch. Keep them a little separated. Hey, that's okay. Well, it is harder, right? Oh yeah. Because we have a dominant side. And then when you start to struggle, touch them. All right, sumo, upright row. Nice job. Get away from the do pause at the bottom. Drop and pull it up. Ooh. Yeah, we're getting some beautiful weather in New Jersey. On, zip it up. So good to take workouts outside. So change that environment. Invite a friend over. Ooh. 
Woo, star, sit up. Falling at like a half a star. My left elbow is going to be on the ground. I'm going to reach right to the left foot. Reach it up and over. So I was doing that. I was touching my toe, my toes with my fingers. Try to touch it with your knuckles. Oh, you got to work a little harder there, right? See, your body wants to cheat. More kick. More punch. Switch. We got to go a little longer on this side. We got a little preoccupied. Looking at our fingers. A couple more. I'm on a couple more. Two more. There we go. <laughs> Last round. Okay, this is it. Last round. You still got 15 seconds. Yay! Consistency, I've said it before. Stay consistent in your workouts. Change the intensity. That can help you get further in your workouts. Here we go. Check it out. There is no magic in the workout. If you want to lose weight, whew, lifting weights is one of the best things for you. Getting quality sleep and taking time for yourself every single day, not just to exercise, but to give back to your body, to give back to your mind. I need to do both sides. All right, overhead extension. Okay. Here we go, bring it up. I'm gonna stop at the bottom and then press it all the way up. A little pause and then extend. A little more brace in the core. Yeah, and you know it, the fire siren is going off. It's getting hot out here now. We were saying, I think every time we do, although we were doing trampoline the other day, no siren. <sighs> Woo, sumo upright row. Well, if the fire siren's going off, I'm gonna go 20 pounds here. Woo, I'm gonna make it hot. Here it is. Drop and pull. Oh, it's a power move. You know how we talk about compound movements? This is one of them. Use your breath, come on. I'm gonna get one more. Oh. Here we go, here's goes that star. Always. It's the extra stuff that gets you, right? I'm gonna do eights. Catherine's got me going. Let's do the left leg or left arm. Reach it up. See, I just did my two fingers again, did you? Knuckles. <laughs> Yeah, you have longer legs than me. <laughs> Switch. So we were talking about flexibility increases your range of motion when you come back to your workouts. Helps you with recovery. Good sleep. One more. Done. Woo, weights down. Just take a couple of deep breaths lying here. Woo, 
Hug the knees into the chest. And then give me figure four. Take the right leg, cross it over. Push that knee out a little bit here. Flex the feet, especially on the knee that you're putting your hand on. And then pull those legs towards you. you Wanna grab the whole leg, right? You can thread under, a little deeper. Maybe lift the head for a moment and then Release the head down. Straight leg, stretch it. Let's do the other leg. And push the knee out. Flex that foot. And if you want to thread, grab the leg a little bit more, lift up, and then try to keep that as you lower your chest. leg. And both knees in. You can do a little happy baby grab to the outside or inside. I like to go inside of my feet and then open the legs up, push your low back into the mat. like an Instagram post going around that's this, that people are doing pictures. I don't know what they're calling it. They're calling it like butt sunning. <laughs> so we are trending right now. All right, let's rock it up. Flip it into an up dog or sphinx. <laughs> butt sunning. One of those new words, you know, like ghosting and what other things do you hear your kids saying, right? My kids hate it when I say things that are like, you know, trending sayings, right? Like fi fire, that's fire. Do you ever use that? No. No? You don't hear your daughter say that? Uh, yeah. You'll have, to, you'll have to go up to her and say like, oh my God, that's so fire. Look at that outfit. Press back into child. Or they say, Mom, you're too old to say that. Right down, dog it. Walk your dog a little bit. to standing, walk whatever you need to, roll it up. Oh, and let's just do a side stretch if you want to step across and not fall over. Push the hips to me, arm by your ear. So as you're pushing the hips to me, push the hip away. Tightness in the back can also come from tightness from a lot of core movements and quad dominated movements. Cardio crazy workouts. Switch. So Catherine was saying her back was sensitive. We did a lot of jumping and she did a lot of walking, which is a lot of quad dominated. Does this feel good to you? Yes. Yeah. Arms go down. Big sweep out, reach it up, really lengthen. Pause at the top, a little extension back. Reach your fingers, pull it down into your heart. Let's do one more. Have your gratitude to this amazing body. 
As you touch your skin, we need to touch ourselves. <sighs> All right, you guys, take good care of this body. I appreciate you taking time to spend with us doing a strength workout, which is gonna be so good for your body. How, how many days a week should you be lifting weights? At least a solid two times for sure. All right, if you enjoyed this workout, thumb it up, comment below, share with a friend. What else, Catherine? Enjoy it when you're doing it, right? Tell yourself, this is so good for me. Good for you. You guys, you have an awesome day and we'll see you back on this mat. Bye. Thank you. Whew, nice job. You gotta give me one down here and then a little handshake. Just bump. <laughs> Fire. Don't, don't ghost me. <laughs> good job.